Hi guys, so I'm here today to show you how to prepare your ceremonial cacao. If you are doing a ceremonial dose um, for a journey to journey and meet the cacao spirit, then we suggest 42 grams of cacao with 250 milliliters of water. If you're wanting to cook your cacao up to help reduce and minimize your stress and anxiety, we suggest about 25, 20 to 25 grams daily. Um, and if you're wanting to have a little bit more of a boost, um, to have feel a bit more um, uplifted then 30 grams is maximum um, but today we're going to be preparing for a ceremony ceremony so we suggest 42 grams so if you take your cacao and you measure 42 grams into the um, into the bowl and then what you do is that you then once you've uh, weighed it up you then have to chop it up so the best way to do that is with a big, big knife and you just make sure you just chop it up in small pieces. This enables it to dissolve much more easily in the water. Also, while you're chopping it, a really good thing is just start connecting with it. I kind of like the idea is about mindfulness, to really feel the cacao under your fingers, to really kind of just you know, become mindful about cutting the cacao, starting to connect with the medicine of the cacao, even in this moment. And then just keeping it small enough, the pieces, so that you can put them into the, uh, they can melt much more quicker in the water. So this is Satsiyaki cacao. This is from the Ecuadorian Amazon. And um, it is a, uh, we call ceremonial cacao because it's all organic, it's wild harvested, and um, it's raw. So it's the purest cacao in the market. So once you've cut up your uh, cacao, make sure you put it back in the bowl. And then what you need to do, just put it in the bowl. Then what you need to do is come to the cooker and put in um, 250 milliliters of water um, per cup. So I've got 500 milliliters here. And then what you do is you turn it on and you put it to high and let that boil. While you let that boil, just if you haven't finished up cutting it up, just making sure that all the lumps are gone. Once the cacao is boiling, sorry, once the water is boiling, you then place the cacao in the water. So the water is boiling because you don't want to boil the cacao. So what you do is you boil the water, put the cacao in, and then um, allow it to cacao to come to boil, and then you turn it down and you put it to simmer. And what this does is that you don't lose the nutrients of the cacao. And you don't need to be putting the cacao in for too long, not to overcook it. It really is just to make sure it's strong and has a um, very nice finish to it. So once the water is boiling, make sure it's boiling like this, you pour in the cacao and start stirring. So what happens is the cacao naturally brings down the temperature of the water. And it's really important to keep on stirring while the water is still boiling so that you can keep an eye on that it doesn't over, over um, bubble. And then as soon as you feel it's overly bubbling, you just turn it down to simmer and you stir. And what you can see is that what happens is that the cacao kind of starts getting very foamy and then slowly that foam will start evaporating and that's when you know that the cacao is cooking up nicely. So as you can see there's kind of a, a lot of lumps still at the beginning of it. So it takes about, I don't know, 5, 10, 15 minutes to cook the cacao depending on how many uh, people are drinking it. So it takes a little bit of patience. And while you're, again, while you're stirring the cacao, preparing the cacao, it's really important to kind of be mindful, to kind of start connecting in with the cacao, start setting your intentions for why you're drinking the cacao, and also to start feeling the energy of the cacao. And cacao has an amazing vibration, and the smell of cacao is also really, really, really um, beautiful. So your whole house will start smelling really, really chocolatey. And you, it, and when you when you do this with mindfulness, it it, it brings a certain kind of pleasure, um, knowing that uh, this amazing medicine is a, really a heart opening uh, and uh, stress busting uh, 
drink and it can really help us. So this is really important to put as much care and intention and love into preparing the cacao. And then of course, once it's cooked up, once you see now it's all gone, that, that frothy bit's gone and you get to that really beautiful kind of uh, lovely texture. What I do is one more time, I blast it a little bit with a bit more heat, just making sure that those last lumps get um, dissolved. So you don't, you only just tamper up the heat a little bit, making sure that all those last bits of cacao get dissolved so there's nothing left at the bottom and stirring it around. And actually, as you can see now, the glister, the bits at the top, the what looks like the oily bit at the top is actually the cacao butter that has dissolved. And so you get this really beautiful, rich, lovely texture on the cacao. And you can start seeing that the cacao starts um, often making these spiral shapes that someone told me that that's a sign that the cacao is getting ready to, to, to be drunk. And when it makes a sp spiral shapes, it means that it's ready. The spiral shapes means that it's ready to start drinking and that the cacao is, is, is getting ready to be prepared. So take your time with this, but don't overcook the cacao, you don't need to. And as soon as you feel like it's ready, which is now, then you take your cups and you pour it straight into the cups. The aim really is to cook it fresh, so not to leave it. Also, in ancient Amazonian um, societies, we, ne we never leave the ayahuasca, we never leave the medicine unattended. And I feel the same way about cacao. It's really important to keep the medicine um, fresh and pure before you drink. So the cacao is now done, and what we'll do is we'll pour it into two cups, and we will get ready for our ceremony. So, so now the cacao is finished. You can see the glistening bits on the top. That's the cacao butter. It's got that lovely kind of creamy look to it and everything's um, dissolved inside. And so you just pour it into the cups like so. And there you have it the perfect cup of ceremonial cacao for your ceremony. ceremony. So wishing you all a wonderful ceremony. If you have any questions, please just ping me and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have and enjoy your cacao. Bye for now.